Elizabeth Holmes is the Stanford dropout who became a tech billionaire after claiming to revolutionize lab tests using a single drop of blood. Now she's keeping a very low profile as she faces a criminal trial. But we found her looking like she doesn't have a care in the world with her new fiance. Elizabeth, a lot of young women looked up to you, especially in tech. What would you have to say to those young women? Do you have any comment at all to the investors that say they lost millions of dollars because of you? Elizabeth Holmes promised the world a medical revolution. At 19, she claimed to have invented a miniaturised machine that, with a single drop of blood, could map our health. Her boast was serious diseases like cancer would be prevented before they happened. The right to protect the health and well-being of every person, of those we love, is a basic human right. A right defined in the United Nations Universal Declaration on Human Rights. Prosecutors, of course, say that Elizabeth Holmes carried out a long-running scheme to defraud doctors, patients, and investors with her company that she claimed uh, had the technology to save the world. Of course, founding, founding it, Theranos, as a dropout from Stanford at age 19, saying that it had the technology to perform a range of blood tests based on a tiny sample from a finger prick. Uh, that would have been revolutionary if it worked. It did not. Tonight, and Elizabeth Holmes right. facing the test of her life. The 37-year-old arriving in court, her appearance a far cry from the Steve Jobs-inspired black turtleneck she frequently wore as the founder of Theranos, a $9 billion blood testing company the prosecution alleges was based on a lie. This is a case about fraud, about lying and cheating to get money, the prosecutor said. Holmes has been charged with multiple counts of fraud and conspiracy to commit fraud. Thank you, Elizabeth. I have to tell you, in all my years, I can't recall a private company that I have to candidly many have never heard of getting this kind of attention and scrutiny. What do you think is going on here? This is what happens when you work to change things. and. First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. And um... uh, people have a grandiose sense of self because it's a defense against a lack of self, oh, and it's a it's a defense against not only low self-esteem, but almost no self-esteem. Wow. It, you know, the fantasy distracts them and gives them some sense of self-worth. She knew how to intimidate people. She knew who to influence. She knew what to say. And, I mean, this wasn't just a couple of years. <laughs> I mean, founded in 2003. Wow. Uh, and got taken down in 2019. Wow. End of 2018. So all that time... And with scientists that knew something was wrong yeah, and no product to actually show anyone. She had people saying in public, I've used the, the machine, even though they hadn't, because, <laughs> because she had convinced them either through trickery or with enough smoke and mirrors that they could safely say they've used the machine because they know that the machine is working. Right. First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. Uh, sorry, sorry. I just realized she is potentially a super genius, and maybe she was using all the little pinpricks of blood as her way to be a cannibal without actually consuming flesh. Maybe that's why her voice is so low. That could be. Yeah. 